Hi everybody, with the release of update 1.14 on the experimental PC and Xbox servers, you're probably keen to get your hands on the XML so you can start fiddling with them, digging in, preparing for when these uh, files come to public so you can muck around with your private community servers, do all your XML mods and that sort of stuff. So where do you get the files from? Well, you need a PC and you need to have a copy of DayZ um, on PC. Um, and then what you do is within Steam, if you go to your library and you go to all your games and you see you'll have DayZ and DayZ Experimental so you can play it. If you go up to the little um, tab here, um, you want to have, you want to tick tools as well. So if you tick tools, and then scroll down to Daisy, and what you should see is Daisy Experimental Server. And you want to install the experimental server. Now you don't need to launch it after it's been downloaded or anything. You just you just want to just, just download it, and then it will appear on your computer in the same place where uh, Daisy is. So, for example, on my computer, um, it appears in. Uh, local disk C program files x86 steam steam apps common and then we've got daisy well daisy server experimental and daisy server now if you get a bit stuck and you can't find it what you can do is if you fire up daisy and i'll show you how you can uh, find it so go to the section here and then next to any of the mods just click on the little upside down arrow click on the three little dots there and click on open folder in Windows Explorer and it'll say look don't change anything so you say yeah cool I won't don't worry so that then gets you into your mods folder in DayZ and then if you just go up one then up another one that's where you are and then if you in the top sort of address bar if you left click in there that gives you the the the, uh, the address but there we are daisy server experimental and then if you go down go into the daisy server experimental you'll then see there's the missions files mp missions obviously you've got everything else as well and there you've got daisy offline Chernus plus so there's all the xml's daisy offline enoch which is all the livonia uh, xml's obviously if you're going to start mucking around with them make a copy <laughs> <laughs> if you like yo know, so, so you don't mess it up there are videos out there and I've done some myself about how to set up a local server so you can actually run it locally if you want but if you want to do that so you get hold of the XML so you can start looking at the static contaminated area so you can start figuring out how to modify them and have custom static contaminated areas and all that sort of stuff or static contaminated area custom remember always put the name at the end not the beginning otherwise it messes up the event um, that's uh, that my friends is how we do it now maybe over the next few days um bohemia active will will put it out on a github but i don't think they normally do i think this is basically the, the way that you have to do it um and remember if you if you're really keen on modding but you don't have a pc that can play day z you can still do this you can you can still you know download a copy of steam because it's free and then buy day z when it's um when it's free um in fact it might even it might be worth it, even if you haven't got daisy to have a look to see if you can get hold of the experimental server um even if you haven't got a copy of daisy but buy daisy when it goes on sale or get a cheap code for it off somewhere like cdkeys.com um and then you can have it and you can modify it on your pc or your laptop and then upload that to your to your console servers just remember that when, when we're doing this um daisy server experimental the only stuff we can play around with on console is the stuff that's in here daisy offline plus you know um just, just the xml files not like the init.c or if there's a config file as well you can't mess around with with anything like that but there we go that my friends is how you get the um, experimental versions of the xml's for chernerus and livonia the mission files for 1.14 and all the others going forward it's underneath games and tools in the experimental server on Steam. There we go. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have, hit like if you want to see more, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.